Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am super excited to be back filming some tutorials for you. Um, I have, yeah, trying to reinvigorate my YouTube a little bit. I've got some vlogs coming and some other different bits of things, but um, tutorials are kind of where I, I really enjoy. So I thought I would, I would do a tutorial for you today because I made a card earlier and it kind of sparked something. And so I thought I'd share. So before I get into that, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm based in the UK. Um, anything you see in my videos, you can purchase in my online store. If you are watching this as the video goes live, the products I am using today are in the January to April catalogue. Now, we're in April, so this catalogue's about to retire, but everything I'm using today is carrying over into the new annual catalogue. Now this is, again, retiring, because I haven't got my copies yet of the new annual catalogue. Um, but if you want a copy of the new annual, do just let me know and I can pop one in the post to you. So I've got two, like, so yeah, two bundle stamp sets to use today. And I made, I made this card this after, or this morning for a tutorial bundle that I take part in. I'll try to take part in every month. I've not, I've not done it the last couple of months because things have been busy, but I'm back into that now. I'm like, we all make mistakes, don't we? I don't know what happened to that piece of that corner down there. But I made this card and I was looking at Pinterest, as we do, and found, because I wanted to use this die, and I've not used this die yet. This is from Share a Milkshake, and I've lost the die itself. This is the die, so it makes a little ice cream cone. And while I was on Pinterest, I spotted that somebody had used this die, and instead of using it for an ice cream cone, they put flowers in it, and I thought it was really cute, and that's, that's what I'm gonna do for you today. So we're gonna make an ice cream cone, but not an ice cream cone. So if you want the details of this card, they'll be in my tutorial bundle. So you, every if you purchase with me um, in the month of May, you will receive a, a bundle of tutorials um, and this card will be one of those. And I might also put it in my email newsletter. I haven't quite decided yet, but it's really cute. I love this stamp set and I, I, it's just really lovely and it's fun. And I'm really pleased it's carrying forward. So that's the stamp set, not using Sherry Milkshake, just using basically this one die. Then I've got the Petal Park bundle because I needed some flowers. So the actual flowers that from the card that I spotted were from uh, Love For You. But I've decided I'm going to change up and I'm going to use Petal Park because of the punch. And then we need a sentiment. So I've grabbed Sentimental Park as well just because it's convenient. But I might, I could use, I could use the Celebrate from on there, couldn't I? Have I got the Celebrate stamp? I have got Celebrate stamp in there. Um, so we'll see. We'll work out what sentiment we're going to use later on. How, can you tell? So much prep for this video. So the first thing we need to do is make our kind of cone slash kind of like paper bag. So I'm going to pop this die um, down onto my scrap of crumb cake cardstock. And I'm going to grab in my mini cutlery boss now. I have the white cut and boss, and if you've been here for a little while, you might remember um, in January time, um, Stampin' Up! ran a promotion where if you joined, you could get a blue one of these in a uh, colour called Boho Blue, which is one of our new in colours this year, and um, which was great, but they still have some stock. So we're currently in demonstrator kind of demonstrator only ordering. Um, for that, but you might be able to get your hands on a blue one or a white one um, in May. So just give you a heads up on that. I love my mini cutlery box. It's really, it's a really handy little um, die cut machine that I can just pull out onto my desk. I don't have to get my big machine out every time. It makes things much easier. So that's the only bit of die cutting I'm going to do today. So I'm going to pop it away again um, just to clear this some space. But yeah, my big machine takes up far too much room. Um, and I do, I kind of have a permanent home for it in my office, but for videos and things, it's just so handy to like, just, just nip it out onto the desk. And I, I actually use it more than I ever thought I would, because I bought it literally just to do videos with. So this is what you get when you die cut that. So you've got like the little, little embossed crosses and then these little score lines. So I'm going to just fold and burnish on my, um, score lines 
actually turn it around the other way. So you've got kind of flat on one side, almost flat. It's still, it's still a little bit textured. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Yeah, it's a little bit textured, but it's less textured than that side. So that's going to be the inner. And then we're going to pop our flowers into there. So isn't that really cute? Now, what the other thing I did, um, and I did it on the on the other card as well, was I kind of made it a little bit dimensional. So the bottom um, kind of flap, I popped a dimensional on the inside. Took the backing off. She says, "Well, oh, come off." There we go. And then, then folded it over. And then, can you see? You've got that little bit of little bit of kind of dimension and you could you could kind of pop another dimension on let's do that let's do that i think i'm gonna pop another dimensional on because it's flowers they can be a little bit more dimensional than ice cream cone can't they there we go so you've got that like proper wrapped effect then of that now what i also have done with the original was add a little bit of um, crumb cake um ink on with a blending brush so let's just do that a little just a like, tiniest little bit of ink and just grab the edges just to just to add to that dimensional effect there we go it's just going to hit where it's kind of tallest if you like look at that isn't that so adorably cute love it so let's do our flowers next so i've got a scrap of basic white and my petal part stamp set which I've now put somewhere there we go hopeless so I'm just going to use the flowers and the leaf and I'm not going to color them in with the stamp set today so this is a great stamp set because it's a, it's a two-step stamp so you can stamp actually what I do I stamp the solid image first and then put the detail over the top and um, because then you can see the detail better but actually it doesn't really matter um so I have got a trio of inks I've got crumb cake obviously and then I've got parakeet party and daffodil delight so let's do the flowers first and we'll stamp these twice I don't think we're going to need all six flowers but better to be prepared so I'm going to stamp those down one side like that and the other thing I've got is a blender pen we don't use these very often anymore I love mine um, and I'm just going to use it to drag the ink a little bit to kind of so it's a bit more colored in a like there's a hint more color to it um and I just I really love the effect of this I'll show you in a second so can you see so that's the original and that's it colour with the blender pen. It's just literally just blended that ink a little bit. And I'm not doing any massive kind of colouring with it. I'm not, you know, but it's just just grabbing the ink and pulling it out. Just to give just something a little bit more interesting. I think that's adorably cute. So I'm going to just punch those out with the um, punch. Now there is the leaf on this punch, but if I try and do the leaf, the leaves are the same as the of the flowers. I know <laughs> it's going to go wrong. So I'm going to just line, and it lines up really nicely. She says as she completely ruins the way she has lined it up. <laughs> lined it? <gasps> oh goodness me. So I have, um, I've been filming already this week, so I have got a vlog coming for you. Um, I was hoping that I might get my pre-order in this week, but it's not looking that way at all. So my um, vlog video will probably go live on Monday-ish for this week. Um, and then I'll do another one <laughs> once I eventually get um, my pre-order. So I'm going to do a couple of leaves just because... I just think leaves are really important. When you're doing flowers, I think it, sometimes it looks really strange if you've not got a leaf as well. Now, I am stamping these along one edge. Probably going to have to snip at them to get them out. Because I am 
utterly hopeless at lining these things up. Yeah. So let's... It's not going to work. Right. Told you. Told you. I'm going to snip that out of there. And then snip each one. And then I'm going to show you a trick. So I've now got little pieces that are a bit of a nightmare, but I've got a spare piece of post-it note. So I'm going to pop my flower, my leaf, sorry, onto my post-it note. The other way up. Like that. And then I can use my post-it note as a kind of handle for my leaf. And I, of course, they'll be very wasteful because I'm punching out loads of bits of... Um, post-it note at the same time but there we go where's one might have to i have to grab another piece of post-it note here might now um then let's try try that see if it'll go in see if it'll work there we go and obviously if you you know you've got a bit more more time than me you can if you're not on video And you're not getting everything stuck in your punch. Honestly, sometimes <laughs> professionals, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so let's just see if I can do this one without. Oh, I can. There we go. There we are. There's three leaves. That one's a bit wonky, but it will do. It'll be fine. So, and actually, I'm going to just grab my blender pen just blend across so let's just pull out that color a little bit so it's a little bit less white there we go love those and then i just need a sentiment don't i so let's let's use that celebrate from sweeter um share a milkshake even oh so let's celebrate and i'm going to use I'm going to use daffodil. I do love daffodil delight. It's such a lovely, lovely, bright yellow. And I'm going to just stamp that in one corner of that and I can snip that out. I'm not going to do it. We, I think some people call this fussy cutting. I wouldn't call this fussy cutting because it's not really very fussy. It's literally just snip, snip, snip. There we go. So then we can put our card together. So we've got a card base of crumb cake. Oh, I can't do it with my right hand today. There we go. And a piece of basic white. Now I am going to just add a little hint of um, Parakeet Party just in a circle round and round just as a little bit of extra bit of an extra interest on this card because otherwise it's quite flat and i'm going to stick that on i've got my stamping seal so that's going to go on to our card base like that then we've got our um kind of flower holder and the other thing I've got oh, is a little bit of twine. So it looks like the flowers are sort of tied up in paper. So this is this is just regular linen thread. And I'm going to just wrap it around and attempt to tie a bow on camera, which is always, always fun. Particularly when you've got a thing like this that moves a lot could pop a glue dot on it but i'm not going to um let's turn that the right way up so oh might have to actually i might have to pop a glue dot on the back just so that i can tie the bow because it's this is fiddly oh anybody else really struggle with bows or is it just me i don't actually i know it's not just me they are awkward awkward little things to do so let me 
just let's go let's let's get a blue dot so, i take my glue dot. i do love a glue dot they're so handy and move that exactly where i want it all the way to the top and then i'm going to just pop that glue dot on the back and that'll hold it just enough that i can now butts with it a little bit so i want little loops of my bow ah, that, that loops far too big there we go that'll do Ooh. and then once we once we adhere it on it will be fine so, long tails because do like long tails on bows and then i am just going to pop some seal on the top and the bottom and just where that bit of thread is as well so i can pop that then straight down onto my card that's now not going anywhere fabulous now then let's get these flowers sorted so we've got six flowers and currently they're very flat now i do like a flat flower but I feel like there's quite a lot of dimension on this card already, so it can take it a little bit. So we're going to just curl up the edges of the bigger flowers with our fingers. And the other thing, the other way of doing this is if you get a piece of um, foam, this is a stamping pierce mat, and your take a pick tool. Now your take a pick tool has loads of different ends. I love this gadget. I have two, as you can tell. So I've got the one, this is the one I use all the time. It's got um a kind of rubbery tip on one end and the other end is, po is a pokey tool or it's a flat um, i do use the flat one um usually because i've put a stamp on a block too long and then this one has a die brush on one end or I, I the die brush is an extra um and then uh two ball tools on the other now it's a little ball tool but it's okay it still works so the smaller flowers if you just push down and you can see that then brings up the petals i'm going to do that again for the littlest one like that oh let's just do them all let's do them all then we can work out which ones we're going to use there we are so that is that so let's get our adhesive so i'm going to pop the big flower on first like that and then i'm going with glue dots again glue dots are so handy for little fiddly little flowers like these um and you do you just push the flower on it'll stick the glue dots then on the back and you can pop it on actually it might not need more than three oh. Oh, I'll have one more, I think. One more. Just at the top there. Make sure we've still got our dimension on. And then a couple of leaves. And again, I'm just going to shape these with my fingers. Um, you could use a little bit of wet glue for this, but I'm going to go over speed. Speed over inconvenience. So one leaf there, and then oh, that one will come straight off because it's got post-it note on the back. There we go. Another leaf just tucked in there, and then our celebrate sentiment, which we could tuck. Where are we going to tuck that in at? We'll tuck it there. I think that looks good. So I want a little bit of glue on one end, the E end, and then I'm going to take a couple of mini dimensionals and I'm going to pop one on, take the back off. Because if you remember, there's two mini glue, there's two glue dots on uh, two dimensionals under there, so it's quite tall. Now, the mini glue dot the dimensionals, sorry, and their regular size are exactly the same um, height, so I can stack the two of those together, and it's just beautiful. And that is 
my card for today thank you so much for joining me for that and um, again as always anything you see in my videos you can purchase them at my online store if you've liked this video don't forget to comment subscribe give me a thumbs up and all of that good stuff as well and i hope to see you again really soon thanks for watching bye for now